Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do the finally fall tag. She's a Mona Lisa. It's been a minute since I've done a tag on my channel. I don't really know why. I think it's because I just got lost. Like I lost track of all the tags that I had been tagged in and then this weird year has been weird already, so I just haven't been in a mood for tags, if that makes sense. But I'm in the mood for this tag because it fits the season. Like fall is finally here. It actually is starting to feel like fall outside where I'm from. So I'm just really, really excited to do this tag. I'll leave the creator of the tag down below and the questions in case y'all want to do it too. And let's get started into the questions. So number one is in fall the air is crisp and clear name a book with a vivid setting so for this book i'm actually currently reading this and that is why it's kind of the only thing i could really think of at the moment and that is legend born by tracy dion oh my gosh this book is so vivid i love the setting of this story i think that tracy dion does a really good job of just like building her world and her characters and I think the fact that this is like set in uh, Chapel Hill like near the university and everything like that is really cool and the fact that she kind of delves in the history of the university and just the area itself and the south is really interesting too so I feel like she does a really really good job of building this setting up in this book. Number two is nature is beautiful but also dying name a book that is beautifully written but also deals with heavy topics like loss and grief so the most recent book i can think of that really deals with heavy topics but is still very very beautifully written i think is a heart and a body in the world i read this in august and i absolutely loved it not for the topics of course because there are some heavy topics talked about i encourage you to check out trigger warnings and whatever else you need to prepare for this book but I do think it's a really beautiful story. I think the author does such a good job of writing the main character's struggle and letting you walk through her healing and processing throughout the whole book. And it does deal with heavy topics of grief and loss as well. So yeah, I just love this book so much. If you are someone that can do this, I encourage you to go in without really knowing what it's about. That's kind of what I did. I never really knew what the synopsis was, didn't know what was going to happen. So I just kind of jumped in without any of that. And I do have the privilege of doing that. So I will say if you can do that, definitely do that. If you can't, I totally understand. Definitely look up trigger warnings. I'd rather you do that than be triggered, of course. Number three is fall is back to school season. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something new. So for this one, I'm still currently reading, but it's Right Rage by Carol Anderson. I, I don't even know how far I'm into this, but it's definitely teaching me a lot about our history. There are things that my teachers left out or didn't want to mention that I never even knew about that our textbooks don't even mention. So this definitely made me learn some things, especially with the way the world is going right now and the climate that we're in. It's definitely the time to really start educating yourself, especially when it comes to racial education and just the way that black people have been treated for years and are still continuously treated and no one seems to really want to change that. Number four, in order to keep warm, it's good to spend some time with people we love. Name fic name a fictional family, household, or friend group that you'd like to be a part of. So for this one, I couldn't not choose my favorites from Fruit Basket. Personally, I would love to be part of the Soma family, but honestly, if even if I could just be part of this friend group, I would love that so much because this is my favorite manga series ever, and these 
kids are just adorable and they're just so heart warming to each other they love each other so much and you can tell they're always there for each other and i would definitely definitely be honored to be a part of this group so next number five is the colorful leaves are piling up on the ground show us a pile of fall colored spines so oops so here are my spines um i have a lot of yellowish slash reddish orangish colors i feel like that fits for small for fall i did star daughter grown there will come a darkness felix after ever after and with a fire on high so here you are number six fall is the perfect time for some storytelling by the fireside share a book where someone is telling a story so i was looking through my books and i realized i don't really have a lot of books where someone is telling a story within that story but the one that I found that I really have loved since I read it in the sixth grade is A Walk to Moons by Sharon Creech. This story I don't know why it just really really impacted me. It's about a girl named Sal who is going on a road trip with her grandparents to go find her mother and while on this road trip she's telling her grandparents about things that happened before they had left. Her dad had moved to this new town or neighborhood and so she's basically telling her grandparents everything that went on from her move to I guess whenever they left for their trip and there's just a lot of drama and a lot of intrigue and it's kind of funny at times and adorable at times and heartwarming at times and I just really adored this book as a kid. One day I would like to reread this just to see if my feelings would stay the same but number seven, the nights are getting darker, share a dark and creepy read. So I'm going to be honest with you, I do not own a lot of dark and creepy reads and I am okay with that. The one that I can think of that I have read is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. Of course, I don't think this is as dark and creepy as it could be, as probably some people who really love that type of thing in their books would want. But this is kind of the dark and creepiest I could get in my books, honestly, so no shame. Uh, I really adored this book. I still haven't read the second one, but we'll get there. Number eight, the days are getting colder. Name a short, heartwarming read that could warm up somebody's cold and rainy day. So for this one, I chose 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. I feel like this fits the season too because it, I feel like it does go from fall to winter in this story. But it is really adorable. It's pretty short as well. It's about a girl who breaks up with her boyfriend right before, I believe, Thanksgiving. And she she's from a big Italian family. So when she goes to her, I believe, her grandmother's house for Thanksgiving, her family decides that they're gonna send her up, set her up on 10 blind dates until I think it's like Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve is when she will decide on who she's gonna choose. So it's really funny. It's pretty adorable. I really like this. It was very heartwarming, especially when seeing her interact with her family and just the way they really love her and cherish her. So I thought this was fitting and super cute. All right, nine. Fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to. So for this one, I have two. I have the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I would love to reread this at some point just to see if I would love it as much as I do now. <laughs> and then the second one I have is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've reread this so many times. I love it every time, but I would just definitely like to reread it again because why not? It brings me so much joy. Number 10 is Fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. Honestly, my favorite accessory is like a good sweater and then a blanket. That's really all I need in fall, especially as it starts getting colder. That's it. And I'm good. And number 11 is just to tag people. I'm going to tag Chloe from the, br the Brunette Bibliophile. I'm going to tag Kat from For the Love of Books. I'm going to tag Erin from Booked and Busy. And my friend Kay from I Love Books OK. This is the Finally Fall book tab. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching this. Like I enjoyed filming it. And yeah. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, concerns, or questions, please leave all that down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <laughs>